1992, the Honda NSX Type R was released. It was the very first Type R model. The aim was to basically develop a road-going racing car. Power came from a freely to naturally aspirated V6, producing 276 brake horsepower at 7,300 RPM and 217 square foot pounds of torque at 5,400 RPM. So the car was only available in Japan. It was still pretty awesome. In 1995, the Honda Integra Type R was released. Again, another Japanese-only Type R model in the form of the Integra. This one featured a 1.8 litre 4 pot producing 197 brake horsepower at a manic 8000 RPM. Honda wanted its engines to work for the power outputs. There were also some chassis wizardry work too, strengthening suspension upgrades, as well as the obligatory weight reduction that would feature in the Type R Familiar. In 1997, the first Civic received the Type R treatment. Again, only available in Japan, with a 1.6 litre four cylinder engine producing 183 brake horsepower, this time at an all time high of 8,200 RPM. The torque was slightly lower than the Integra at 118 square foot pounds. But you did get red seats, a lever wrap steering wheel, Type R floor mats, and the titanium shift mod. In 1998, the Honda Integra R was released. The first Integra Type R to reach European and American shores and some car too. The 1.8 litre four cylinder motor produced less than its JDM only predecessors, but features as most Type R's did, a manic 8000 RPM redline. Then there's the thinner windscreen glass, lack of sound deadening, a stiffer chassis and a limited slip diff. It weighed in at just 1100 kilograms, could hit 0 to 60 in 6.5 seconds and topped out at 143 miles an hour. In 1999 they released the Honda Accord Type R, arguably the least exciting Type R ever, but one no less manic for it. All the usual Type R flourishes apply, stiffer chassis, slippy diff, alloys. In 2002 another NSX was released, another JDM special featuring a 3.2 litre V6 with 276 brake horsepower and 224 square foot pounds of torque. It got the same attention to weight loss as its predecessors and weighed in around 1,270 kilograms. It was also, as you would have guessed, amazing. In 2007, the Honda Civic Type R was released again. It wasn't too bad. Power remained at 197 brake horsepower, though torque dipped slightly to 142 square foot pounds of torque. Still, wrapped up in its spaceship outfit, and packing that lovely close ratio 6 speed gearbox, it remained a decent hot hatch. While Europe got the 197 brake horsepower third generation Civic Type R, the lucky Japanese got this chunky, bewinged and body kitted four door saloon. Oh, and it had a little more power from the 2 litre VTEC 4 pot too. So not only did it sport 222 brake horsepower compared to its European siblings 197 brake horsepower, it also got more torques too. The Japanese only 3rd gen FD2 Civic got 158 square foot pounds of torque compared to the European's version with 142 square foot pounds of torque. In 2015, this was one of my least favourite Civics, and also my least favourite Type R. The 4 cylinder 16 V Turbo had 360 brake horsepower at 6500 RPM. 295 square foot pounds of torque at 2500 rpm to 4500 rpm. It was a 6 speed manual and front wheel drive, as always with the Civics. A 5.7 second 0 to 62 miles per hour and 167 miles per hour. In 2018, we got the FK8, a 2 litre dual overhead cam 16 valve turbo. Inline 4, 306 horsepower at 6,500 rpm, 295 square foot pounds of torque at 2,500 rpm. Also a 6 speed manual. It was a 4 door, 4 passenger, front engine, front wheel drive hatchback. And it's mental. With a top speed of 174 miles an hour, it's one of the fastest Civics ever made. <laughs> 